Okay, there we go. Good morning to those of you who are on the Pacific and mountain areas. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon to the rest of you. <laughs> All right, welcome to today's Q&A. You guys, I appreciate you taking the time to follow along and hopefully answer some, ask some questions so I can answer some questions for you here on our weekly live. So we go live every Tuesday at noon central. I just want to check my volume. So if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up um, and see me. Of course, it looks I can see myself, so I think I'm good there. But uh, other than that, we're, we're going to dive into some of the available positions that we have at Decker and then keep you in the loop on what's going on as well. Because they're obviously with the weather that set, especially what's happening in the Midwest, um, with the, the high heat index, we want to make sure that you are well prepared for that weather. Um, speaking of being well prepared, how about we dive into the break safety week reminder. It's going on. It's in full swing. We're two days in to the break safety week. Um, this being the third day from the 20th, which was what Sunday. So from Sunday to Saturday is the break safety week. This is the CVSA break safety week. That is an annual event now here from the commercial vehicle safety Alliance. And what's basically what this is, is it's not just singling out the brake safety or, or brake components on the truck and trailer. But in fact, what, what happens is you'll have the normal inspections, but anything that is brake related, whether it's cracked or torn hoses or worn or, or leaks, um, anything with the ABS, anything brake related, um, a violation of any sort, any of that violation data will actually be submitted to the Alliance for data for future years. And basically what that is, what the purpose of it is, is to reduce the number of fatalities and injuries that are brake related with the tractor trailer, any commercial vehicle. The number of fatalities has decreased since this started back in 2008, but uh, there's, still, there's still a lot of uh, drivers who aren't aware of the, the dangers or they don't take the time to assess their, their vehicle properly. So please make sure that you're doing a proper pre-trip and post-trip of your vehicle. And there's a number of reasons to do that besides just the brake, um, the, the brake safety week, but please take the time to do that. We've got 24 seven roadside assistance. Take, make use of it. And if you manage your time properly, and if you notice it on a post-trip, we can help take care of that when it's on your off hours instead of getting in the way of your your drive time, which I know a lot of you don't like because obviously you get paid on mileage. Yes, here at Decker, we do have that safety net, that protective layer there for you that will make sure that you can budget according to at least $1,000 a week for most of you, uh, $1,450 for some of you. you know, so again, if you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out to us. But my reminder here for you is to be sure to check out the or to do a full inspection of the tractor trailer for the brake safety week. So there you have it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to remind you. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, we do want to give a huge shout out to Lyle Turvel, who competed for the, his third year at the National Truck Driving Championships this last week. He placed 37th in the five axle division. Absolutely love it. Lyle is one of our Montana men. Um, he's been driving for, well, he's got, what, um, I'm trying to think of the number of miles that he has all together um, driving, and I think it's 30, 40 years of driving experience um, that, that he has. He placed, in order to get to the National Truck Driving Championships in Columbus this year, he had to place first in his competition in the, in the state of, well, Montana for him. But there's 50 competitors for each of the nine divisions. And each competitor will go with a coin from their state, so a state coin, and they'll trade it off just to get to know each other and, and find out more about um, their state and, and wish them luck as well. So 
it's a great camaraderie. It's a great opportunity to get to know people. I know on the state level, it was a lot of fun, and I'm sure on the national level, it is just that much more impressive. So congratulations to Lyle. Uh, love that he was able to to uh, participate in that again and, and have some fun. So, and yeah. So speaking of congratulations, this week is our payout week for our monthly bonuses. So we do like to recognize our drivers who have earned perfect scores in the scorecard and our um, safety bonuses. So let me define this scorecard for you so that you guys are well aware of, of what it is. We call it the scorecard because, you know, just it's it's a good name for it. You're, you're recognizing your point system on the individual criteria, being idle time and fuel compliance and miles and on-time delivery, preventable accidents or incidents, uh, CSA violations, those are in any claims that you might have had. Those are the criteria, the seven criteria within the scorecard. A perfect scorecard is a thousand points. Now, this is not something that, or this is something that is specific for the bonus. This is not geared towards uh, your normal day to day, excuse me, <laughs> your normal day to day. Um, I mean, it, it, it is a reflection of your normal day to day but it doesn't have any bearing on your, your weekly pay, your day-to-day -day pay. So I must work that out. Anyways, this is setting up the scorecard and the safety bonus set you up for driver of the month. So it's, it's basically gauging, it's how we're able to find our top drivers within our, our different divisions. And here at Decker, I, we're, our tagline is driven to be the best. And it is not only for us to just tout and say, but for us to show you how we can be the best. And, and we do that in a number of ways, whether it be providing these bonuses for you, these bonus opportunities, because ultimately you're the one earning the bonus, right? I mean, that's how bonuses work. So we're providing that opportunity for you. We provide you with quality equipment, top of the line equipment, really, that have a ton of amenities on them. APUs, refrigerators, bunk heaters, CB units, navigation. We have the, the fuel routing. We have inward and outward event recorders for safety features. We have, um, I think I said double bunk. We have microwaves. We have televisions. We have Epic View satellite TV. It's 100 plus channels. Um, all of those that amenities that come with each of our trucks. And that's just, you know, another way that we're just, we're there to show that our drivers come first. We want to make sure that you're comfortable when you're out on the road and that you have what you need to stay connected with your family back home. Or maybe your fam maybe you've got a family member riding with you. We have that opportunity available to you as well. We have the 24-7 roadside assistance that's available to you. 24-7? <laughs> I know, okay. Give it to me. So that... That's, of course, there, um, and not only are they available, but they're going to work for you within that 24-7. So, like I said, if you're doing that pre-trip and you're doing that post-trip, if you find something during that post-trip or a pre-trip, but my point being that all hours, they're going to be there to, to help support you. We've got a great maintenance staff in our shops in Fort Dodge and Missoula and Bessemer and Des Moines and uh, we've got Sperry, Minneapolis, and Hammond. I mean, we've got a great crew that is there to support you, that are there to help you out, to answer questions, to actually take a moment to hear what you know, the what's going on with your truck that you want looked at um, so that we can take it to the next level and, and make it work for you. We also have our, our customer service and our, our driver managers who are one-on-one -on -one with you and the ambassadors we have our ambassadors uh, who will help support you as you transition into coming to Decker and becoming part of the Decker Truckline family. So we have that as well. But yes, driven to be the best, to be the best supporters of you, to provide the best quality training for you, and of course, a uh, hundred other amenities that we do. So a huge shout out to Robert Anderson, Martin Blanker, Stephen Boucher, Curtis Carson Jr. and Curtis Carson Sr., Jeffrey Dietz, Christopher Eppins, Darren Ladley, 
uh, Fernando Lara, Dennis McCubbin, Thomas Melton, and David Rolstead for earning perfect scores on their scorecard. That means a whole four cents a mile on all the miles that they completed for the month of July. So this is for the month of July. And then perfect scores for our owner-operator lease purchase. We have Michael Patello, Ronnie Burns, Anthony Clayton, um, Hammond Cooper, Matthew Nerling, Timothy Olden, Nira Patel, Patel, excuse me, Sean Swallows, and Guy Wise, all earning perfect scores on our owner-operator lease purchase side. So all together, we had quite... Uh, we had over, what, 62000 I got to double check. Yeah, $62,000, almost $63,000 paid out in our bonuses this month. And it pays out the third pay period of the month following when, it, when you ran it. So the, these are July's numbers. Over 19000 paid out on the company side for both the safety as well as the scorecard bonuses. Um, in order to earn the safety bonus, you have to have 20 points or below in order to, to earn that safety bonus. We had a number of, of perfect scores again this week. You know, it, it doesn't, I say a number, but it never ceases to amaze me that we have over 50% of our drivers who earn a scorecard or safety bon a bonus every single month. And this, again, this is not a freebie. These are earned. These are something that you should be proud of because you've worked so hard to get to them. So with the safety bonus alone, we had almost 290 drivers who earned the safety bonus alone. So, Guy Wise, how are you? Speaking of one of the, the many, so yes, he earned a, the perfect score on the scorecard. Congratulations. And uh, yeah. And then, of course, like I said, we have 200, 289, to be more specific, uh, with, the, with the safety bonus, uh, and quite a few with those perfect scores as well. So congratulations to each one of you who have earned that. If you have questions whatsoever on the bonus, the monthly bonuses, please reach out to us. You can always put it in the chat. We'll get those answered. Otherwise, reach out to your driver manager, reach out to your ambassador if you're new to Decker, or... A number, yeah, there's a number of others out here who, who are willing to help answer some of those questions to make sure that we are maximizing that bonus for you. So, very cool. All right. Now, that said, I do want to remind you what we, I know you don't need to be reminded of the heat. The heat is there. You're well aware of it. Um, <laughs> but are you prepared for the heat? Have you prepared properly to make sure that you can beat the heat, right? Are you staying hydrated? And you know what? I don't go really anywhere without a water bottle. I'm always with a water bottle. Are you, are you staying hydrated? And remember, I am a tea drinker as well. So yes, you know those memes, those, those TikTok jokes or whatever, where everybody's like, the woman has got four water bottles and a cup, that would be me. It's all right, we're staying hydrated, people. Carry lots of water with you, sip on it throughout the day so you're not having as many rest breaks, restroom breaks, I should say. Um, but yeah, like make sure that you are staying well hydrated and then cooling towels. That's my go-to. So uh, we have some, I think at the Decker store in Fort Dodge, if not get a towel, get it wet, get it, get it cold. Um, you can even put it in one in your refrigerator or freezer section, uh, in the truck there and keep it around your neck. That'll help keep you cool. If you have a dog, do the same thing. It's not a bad idea. Keep them cool. Make sure they're staying hydrated too. Very important. And of course, if you have a passenger. I mean, come on, let's be serious. <laughs> and light clothing, loose, light colored, light colored and just light fabric. That'll keep you cooler as well. Um, one of our professional drivers who is in our Facebook group, he had actually hopped on to uh, and did a, do a live video and showed that he had gotten two of these fans that were on sale I want to say loves, I can't remember where he picked them up. It might have been Pilot Flying J. And so he picked up these two, um, these two fans, and we have double bunks in our trucks, if you aren't familiar with that. And he likes to store everything on the bottom bunk. So he was showing how he had these fans going up on the top bunk and how much they help. So the fans themselves help a lot. We have AC in all of our trucks. We've got um, APU units in the trucks, so therefore... 
you can stay cool, you know, throughout the night, throughout the day, whenever your downtime is. But those fans just help that much more, he was saying. So keep that in mind. And for those of you who completed the safety survey, the safety training yesterday within the first 24 hours, your name is entered in for a chance to win a Pilot Flying J gift card. So you never know, that could be what you end up purchasing during with your, your gift card, right? Who knows? <laughs> but fans are a great idea. Uh, we do have some side windows that you can open up as well and get some air going through if you don't want to run your air conditioning um, through the APU unit. Sunshades. I know we have some sunshades at the Fort Dodge terminal. I, we might even have Missoula. But you can put sunshades in the truck to keep the heat out and the cool air in. So that's another, another good example. And, and where you're parking, keep that in mind too. Of course, you want to stay in a well-lit area for evenings, but if you can find a shade for during the day, that would be ideal as well. And, and parking, um, I can tell you, as, as long as you're opening, you, your um, engine's got some room to breathe as well. You don't want to be compact. Just like in the winter, you don't want to be up against a snow pile or anything. You don't want to be so close to a building that it's not able to breathe. Um, so if you can park in the shade, that's ideal. Um, I do want to remind you though in the evenings make sure that you still are in a well-lit area so that you for safety reasons use that apu use it wisely if you're having issues with it here on our youtube channel we have a couple of different troubleshooting videos from our shop shout out to our shop i told you driven to be the best they are determined to make sure that you've got the training you need the tips that you need and so they have put together a couple of videos for us to troubleshoot and honestly like the key for a lot of that is if you get if it's not working properly you can crank that sucker all the way to max and crank it down and then put it to the temperature that you need for some reason that's a technique that works and it's a troubleshooting hack that you know you feel brilliant once you have it <laughs> because you're like why did this not work also check your updates there are weather updates whether you're weather you're right there locally if you're checking those or you're checking where you're headed. Know what the temperatures will be like. Will it be storming? Will it be raining? Is it going to cut into some of your drive time? Is it going to slow you down? Could you be overheating? You want to make sure that you guys are, are looking out for yourselves as part of the pre-plan, part of checking that all out. And when you're going down the road, you know, maybe roll down the windows, get a little air, fresh air coming through. And, and that you're getting plenty of sleep, speaking of rolling down windows and things like that. Make sure that you are getting proper sleep. If you are too hot, you're probably not sleeping well. So if, again, that's where that APU unit comes in quite handy in trying to cool things off, uh, keeping, you, keeping you cool, and, and taking breaks. If you, if you are getting tired because the heat does wear us out a little bit easier, if you are getting tired, make sure you're taking those breaks when you need them. Safety is first. Safety has to be first uh, to make sure that you're looking out for yourself as well. All right. Um, Mike says going outside to, to service a loader, but all the greasy, bet all grass greasy, then go for a swim. Sorry, I'm having troubles reading that. <laughs> it's cool at night, so it's a great relief. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Being able to take a break in the grass and, and sit in the shade is, is That'll cool you down pretty good. Um, Mike says, I can't believe how many trucks idle at night at the truck stop. APU is the only way to go. Yes, we think so too. <laughs> that APU unit has been fantastic. And, you know, we've had to uh, find alternatives when there's an APU that goes down when it's this kind of, this this hot out. So we, we will look out for you. We promise you that. So speaking of looking out for you, looking out for you, you need to do the same. So here's a checklist. Here's a, here's a to-do list for you because, of course, you wanted one. I'm sure you did. All right. Every day for your own personal health, make sure that you are staying hydrated, um, that you aren't getting worn out, that you're getting the proper amount of sleep. And by all means, apply sunscreen. You're, you're getting a lot of sun coming through those windshield, that windshield and that side window. Make sure that arm is covered, too, whether it's with a, a light shirt or uh, some sunscreen making sure that you're getting plenty of rest and some good snacks, right? If you're eating well, you're gonna have a better energy level for you. 
And when I say eating well, I'm not saying like a massive amount. I'm talking about eating things that feed your body proper energy, such as uh, fruit and, and nuts and seeds, yogurt, veggies like carrots or, or celery sticks, um, cheese for some of you, granola bars, hard-boiled eggs, um, things like that, you know, that, that can, they're light but filling and they provide the right type of nutrients for you to, to keep you going. And of course, some cool gear, whether it be fans, towels to keep you cool, whatever. Those, that's your checklist for yourself. But for your truck, and you know, half of those are going to go for your pet as well. But for your truck, make sure that you are looking at coolant levels. Um, radiator fan is operating well. The thermostat is working. It's functioning. It, you, you're good to go with that. Uh, the water pump is in good condition. Just everything that you're going through on your, your pre-trip and post-trip, these are things that are important. Not only make sure you're going down the road, but that you're running properly so your truck will stay cool and continue to run properly for you as well. Checking the, the belts, the hoses for rips and tears and cracks and bruises and extra friction um, and any leakage, any, any of that. Make sure that you're checking for it. And that that APU, is it working properly for you? Have you checked it before you leave? If you are at a shop, check your APU before you leave. Air filters, make sure they're clean. Um, the fuel levels, the fuel is coming from the the regular um, tanks. So make sure that you're, you're good with fuel all the way around before you take off. You don't want to be stranded uh, with everything. Um, and of course, the, the proper maintenance. And... I kind of hit on some snacks. I totally hit on snacks, but let's talk about meals. Speaking of proper nutrition and making sure that you're looking out for yourself, eating right while you're out on the road. When it comes to this time of year where it's so hot, you don't want these heavy meals to slow you down, make you sleepy. You know, you need to plan out your meals as well as the rest of your day, right? It's it's all it's all beneficial for you. It's all going to keep you productive. And having light meals like uh, tuna, uh, those you know, turkey wrap, wraps, chicken wraps, um, use the, use iceberg lettuce to wrap it in so that you've got something light and crunchy um, that will, you know, the iceberg lettuce itself doesn't have a lot of nutrients, but maybe you can go with a different one. Um, tuna pouches are great. Smoothies are great. They'll cool you down. So if you've got a little blender that you carry around with you, put that APU to use and the inverter, plug it in and uh, make yourself a smoothie. So anything like that, just light meals that are good for you. Um, snack on some avocados. Avocados are great. They'll keep you, they're, they're good fat. They'll keep you full. Um, it's good. Anything that is, um, like a fermented item such as, or, or pickled. Pickles are great. Those are, those are good for gut health too, um, and they're not heavy. So. Anyways, just a couple of reminders to stay safe out there while you're out on the road. Stay safe and stay cool so that you are, are not only um, looking out for yourself, but looking out for your truck, right? And check those tires. You gotta be checking the, um, the tire pressure as well because the heat does do uh, or can do some damage to it. Keep an eye on that reefer trailer temperature. Um, we've got the the Intelli sets. We've got those available for you as well. Um, so it should be easy and you'll notice if something's wrong. And actually what's nice is that you will get a call sometimes from operations saying, hey, I see that your temperature went down on your trailer go check it. Um, that's always nice too. But yeah, keep a, keep a lookout for yourself. Hey, big timer, how are ya? Glad you? Glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, just another, just another reminder of uh, what's going on out there. Speaking of reminder, hours of service, you guys. Um, hours of service can be, so during the CSA violations or CSA points for every company, for every individual, um, CSA hours of service tend to be a problem. 
And that it could be that you're just not verifying your hours of service. We have these tablets that we use in the truck, the transflow tablets that are in the truck. And sometimes all you need to do is just do that extra, push that button one more time and, and verify your hours of service. Sometimes that's all it is. Other times there's more to it. Other times you might not be using personal conveyance properly or you don't realize how much personal conveyance you have. Those are all things that you need to be well aware of. And if you have questions, call the safety department, talk to them about it. We offer, um, and this is something that we changed here in the last few years, but we offer 50 miles of personal conveyance and um, an hour of personal conveyance instead of the half hour that we offered uh, several years ago. So that has changed here in the last couple of years and is, is very beneficial. Now, it is, it's a perk. It is not, uh, we, we ask that you don't abuse it. It is to, it is personal conveyance. It is to get you to where you need you to get your supplies or whatever on a personal level. It is not to further your load. So please know the reason for the personal conveyance and that you're using it properly. That is actually the topic of our safety training this week that went out. So if you've already taken it, awesome. I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. If you haven't, Go, go get your, your training done um, on your hours of service and take safety. You'll be happy <laughs> that you're looking out for it. All right? Yeah, so that, that is about it. Now, let's, uh, let's talk about some of these available positions that we have because we do have a couple of newer ones that are available. And if you aren't aware, let me get my notebook here, make sure I'm not missing anything. If you aren't aware of some of these then ask the questions that are, are relevant now. Of course, it, it is they are in specific areas because these are a couple of the positions I'm going to talk about are local. So if you live in the Fort Dodge area, we are based out of Fort Dodge, Iowa. That's our main terminal is in Fort Dodge. And we have, we have two local positions that are running from Fort Dodge to Blair, Nebraska and back. So those and the we're pretty much going around the clock. So those are slip seating. So keep that in mind. Whatever truck you're in will be continued to be used later on throughout the day. Um, it's very important to make sure that you're doing your pre-trip and post-trip just as it is on your, your normal rig. But these are a local position where you start, one starts at 5 p.m., one starts at 8 p.m. With the 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. shifts, it pays $2.50 per shift, Monday through Friday, and on Saturday and Sundays, it pays $2.75 per shift. So let me actually tell you how this schedule works so you can catch on, because it's two days on with two days off, three days on, three days off, two on, two off, three on, three off, and then every basically every third week you have a, a three-day weekend. So that's how the that's how the, the local hopper position, by the way, it is a hopper position. I failed to tell you that. Um, so this is a hopper position. It pays per shift, which is roughly about an eight hour shift from Fort Dodge to Blair, Nebraska and back. And so it's 250 for any of the shifts from Monday to Friday. And if it's a Saturday, Sunday shift, it goes up to 275 for those shifts. So if you're, if you're um, working a, a Friday, Saturday, you'll have a, a 250 and a 275 on that one. Pay cutoff is Tuesday night, so it's actually tonight. So make sure that you get all your paperwork in before the end of today in order to get paid Friday for it. And yes, we do have guaranteed pays throughout, but with the shifts, that's easy enough. You know what you're doing. You, you're getting paid 250 per shift, 275 per Saturday and Sunday. Uh, same pay as the 8 p.m. shift. The 8 p.m. shift is also 2.50 Monday through Friday and 2.75 on Saturday and Sunday. Two days on, two days off, three days on, three days off, two on, two off, three on, three off. Does that work? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. The insurance and 401k and all those benefits, they start after 60 days. The 401k is a 50% match. The benefits are Blue Cross Blue Shield. It's an 80-20 plan, and it starts, um, again, starts at, at uh, 60 days. Dominic says, where are you guys located? Uh, we're located out of Fort Dodge, Iowa. That's our main terminal. We also have a terminal in Missoula, Montana, 
in Bessemer, Alabama. We've got shops in Hammond, Indiana, and Sperry, uh, Minneapolis, Iowa, Des Moines, Iowa. So those are all areas that, that we are located. But the position that I'm referring to, this local position, is actually in Fort Dodge, Iowa. So you do need to live within a 25 mile radius of Fort Dodge to qualify for either one of these hopper positions. Now that's the hopper position that I have, the, the local hopper. Now I also have a home daily Fort Dodge short haul position and you can get a hold of the recruiters for more details on that one. It's eight, oh, by the way, the telephone number is right here, 877-433-2537, 877-4-DECKER. And that'll get you to the recruiting department to answer a few more of your questions on the short haul position. So again, flatbed short haul, you're running on a more of a dedicated run for that one. And um, they'll be able to, to fill you in on the details as well. Um, also, some over the road positions. So we have, we have our over the road refrigerated division, which is, it, it runs a number of areas. Actually, let me give you a map so that you can eyeball it. Is this map? I think this map might be. Nope, I'm moving somebody else's. There we go. Yep, this is the one I want. <laughs> okay. I'll share it with you so that you're seeing what I'm seeing. There you go. Okay, so these are areas that we're hiring for for our over-the-road refrigerated division. Um, you can see that out west, we have we do have a terminal in Missoula, Montana. Now, orientation and everything is still in Fort Dodge, Iowa, but we do have a terminal and shop in, in Missoula and uh, Wash Bay, and we have a, a driver's area, the PDC, nice and comfortable. Uh, private rooms, we've got full service laundry for you, and a little kitchenette as well. So we hire out of areas of Washington, uh, basically Portland, up towards the Seattle, all the way over to Billings, Montana. We have a position available out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and along the Salt Lake City area. Uh, we also are real heavy within the Midwest, as you can see here. So if this is a, a kind of a rough drawing here of our, our hiring areas, but if you have a question of what's available and if you're in our hiring area, I highly suggest you reach out to the recruiting department. That's the number right here, 877-433-2537 to get a hold of us and find out if we can um, help you out. So 877-433-2537 to get a hold of the recruiting department. Now that is our refrigerator or over the road refrigerated division. If you live in areas of the Midwest that you had seen there, um, we also can get you home on every seven to 10, every seven days, every 10 days. You know, we've got a little bit of flexibility on the home time, more so in the Midwest and some areas of the Southeast. Now I do wanna tell you that if you live in the Southeast, you, you don't necessarily have to run out west, but you definitely run in within the Midwest. Midwest is quite heavy for freight for us, whether you're in the OTR division or you're in more regional division, the Midwest is, is an area you'd see quite a bit. Um, being based out of Fort Dodge, Iowa, that's pretty common. You'd see definitely see Chicago. You'd probably see uh, the Minas Minneapolis, Minnesota area, uh, parts of Kansas. Kansas City is a very busy area for us, areas of Illinois and Indiana. Um, and then Texas to the Carolinas, really anything over there as well uh, is, is going to be busy for us, but really heavy within areas of the Midwest. If you're wondering spe about a specific area, I highly suggest you either throw that uh, zip code in the chat there so that I can answer and, and let you know exactly what we have, or get a hold of one of the recruiters and they'll just answer all of your questions for you. 877-433-2537. We also have our over the road flatbed division, which puts you in, in most cases home every other weekend, in several cases home weekly. So depending on where you live, let's uh, get you, let's, let me show you an option here. So here's kind of an idea of what is available. Where am I at? 
right here. <laughs> Can't figure out where my picture is. So this is more of our, our flatbed hiring area for the most part um, into Texas to the Carolinas, up into the Midwest, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, very busy for us, obviously, areas of Illinois. Those are going to be little common areas for running for flatbed. Whether you're in the over the road or the more regional position, like if you're home weekly, you're seeing anything really in yellow. You can run anywhere in that yellow section um, where our red is the hiring area. I probably should have identified that earlier with the refrigerator, but I didn't. So, yes. And that actually guarantees a minimum of $1,000 a week. Let me talk about what that means to you. With our weekly minimum pay that we offer, that means that you have this safety net right here. You're not going to fall below this safety net and with your, your rate of pay. Now, you can exceed that for sure. If your rate of pay per mile and the miles that you run are better than, say, $1,000, which in most of our over-the-road division, it's $1,000 for that minimum pay. So you know you're going to get at least $1,000 a week. Keep in mind that that's gross pay, so you still have insurance. If you chose to go on insurance, you still have taxes and insurance to be taken out of that, but you have that safety net that you can rely on each and every week. If your rate of pay per mile and the miles that you run exceed that, then you get the better of the two. Why not, right? And then of course, you've got the bonuses and everything on top of that. We do currently offer, speaking of bonuses, we do currently offer a $2,000 sign-on bonus for experienced drivers. That means you have to have a minimum of six months of experience in order to qualify for that sign-on bonus, which pays in $500 increments. I believe it's at uh, first dispatch after 60, 90, and 180 days. <laughs> 60 days, 90 days, and 180 days. Okay. Anyways, so back to the, the minimum qualifications, the minimum pay qualifications. You need to be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. So be available for dispatch five days out of the week. No load refusals, no driver service failures, so on-time delivery. And that's driver service failures. So if it's a customer or a shipper receiver that has caused you to be late and not make that load, it's totally different. Communicate with your driver manager. I cannot stress that enough. Communicate with them. Communicate with night ops if you need to. But um, yes, so that's driver service failure. Uh, no preventable accidents for the week. No preventable uh, CSA violations for the week. If you had a CSA, CSA violation or a preventable accident, that's on a week by week. So if you had it last week, that has no bearing on this week. So please also keep that in mind. Um, what am I missing? Get your paperwork in on time. That was easy enough. All right, you have until Tuesday night to get your paperwork in, and then you're paid on Friday, direct deposit. So whether it's the mileage that you're paid on or it's the minimum pay, either way, you're going to be paid on Friday morning for that. So if you guys have questions, reach out to the recruiting department, 877-433-2537. Um, James says, do you still get the guarantee if shut down if shut down due to bad weather. Actually, James, that's, that's kind of why it was implemented. Uh, we, when we started this, I want to say December. Oh, man. Yes, you do. As long as you're available for dispatch, weather, if it's weather related, you can't do anything about it. Now, if you are required to shut down because of the bad weather, that's, that's different. Now, that... You know, if, if it's because, I don't know, if the road's closed, you can't go anywhere. That's what I, that's where I'm getting at. If you're shut down because of bad weather, um, because you can't go anywhere, that's that. If it's because you don't like to drive at night or something like that, that wouldn't qualify because we do drive at night. We, we have loads that are required to drive at night. Um, so that's going to be a little bit different. But flat out, I think of change. So I'm thinking winter weather, okay? I remember in December of one year, I think it was December, and then followed up with February, which is very, very rare, but it happened, where we ended up shutting 550 trucks, or pretty darn close to it. We had to shut down 550 trucks because the weather was so bad. It was extremely high winds, very, very dangerous to be driving in, 
And so we decided as a company that we, we needed to shut down our drivers temporarily, have them park, sit there, sit still, don't move. Let's, uh, let's keep you safe for, I don't remember if it was a full 24 hours or what the thing was, but you were, they were available for dispatch. It, that, that was out of their hands. We had asked them to stay. So they were, they qualified for that guaranteed pay, that minimum pay. That's what it's for. It's to protect you. It's, it's as a driver, I mean, a lot of you guys know that you've been paid on mileage pay forever. And sometimes that's out of your control on what kind of miles you get. It could be something, you know, maybe a shipper receiver was, was struggling. Maybe we, um, maybe a load was canceled and the backup load wasn't going to be ready yet. Um, so maybe that was the case, but that guaranteed minimum, that minimum pay is, is there to protect you so that you, we know you're working hard. We know that you're making these sacrifices and this is our way to, to back you up, to be like, hey, we got you. Just take a breather, take a deep breath. You know, I mean, it, it might not have been as much as it would have been if you were running the miles, but we are doing our best to make sure that you are still taken care of. So, yeah, but James, yes, it is. It's a very good question, by the way, um, but that is, that's what it was designed for. So again, I'm gonna repeat those six, just so you know, be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. So that's you saying, I am, I am away from home. I am available for dispatch. Put me to work. All right. Um, be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. No load refusals. So no, um, no, if you refuse a load, then that would disqualify you from that mini, minimum pay. That being said, we aren't forced dispatch, but in order to qualify for that minimum pay, we do have to have that kind of criteria in order to qualify. So if it's not a load that you, you liked and, and you think you need to, to request something different, then, then go ahead and try. I can't guarantee that there's going to be something else available because our, our planners do work their best with the communicating with their, the CS department as well to make sure that we've got you on good loads. But if, if you do, just know that you wouldn't qualify for that minimum pay for that week. Okay, it won't have any bearing on any other week though. Um, okay, where was I? Be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. No load refusals. No driver service failures, so no late loads. We pride ourselves on on-time delivery, and I gotta say that our drivers pretty much rock that. They do a fantastic job. They've won many awards because of that, and uh, we're just rooting them on to continue. <laughs> so continue to manage your time well and get that on-time delivery. And those are driver service failures. So if it was, if you were at fault, that's when you would be disqualified for that minimum pay. But if it was because of a shipper or receiver, you know, that had caused it or um, with this weather, that's another example. That's a little different story, right? So th those are factors. Um, what else? Get your paperwork in on time. Get your paperwork in on time. It has to be in by Sunday night, or excuse me, Tuesday night in order to get paid Friday for it. So yeah, and no preventable accidents and no CSA violations for the week. Easy as that. That's all it is in order to qualify for that minimum pay. And that's there for you each week. So, yep. If you have a certain instance that you have questions on, feel free to reach out to your driver manager. 877-433-2537 is the recruiting department. But if you have your direct number to your driver manager, you can ask them specifically about a scenario if you are if, if you're in one right now. Um, and the more you communicate with your driver manager on things like that, the better a better you'll understand it, and b the more likely that it is it is given to the next step. So it is provided to the payroll department, and you know just it's the checks and balances. So yeah, do it. That's a good idea. <laughs> Communication is key, right? coming from part of the communications department. <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of communications, um, maybe I should share this with you, right? <laughs> okay, no, just kidding. So um, our Janelle shared this with us and the, you probably have already seen this message. If not, it will be coming out. It was a fleet-wide message that was sent. And this is going to affect not just our professional drivers here at Decker, but for anybody else. 
right now, this is loves, anybody who goes to loves, due to the increasing amount of fraud in today's fuel world, unfortunately, love ha loves has suspended the use of the start codes at the pump. So if you've been using the start codes at the pump, they have suspended them. If you normally use the Loves app to fuel by entering that start code, the, it will then direct you in to complete the transaction in the store. So it'll say, go into the store, go to an attendant, and they'll be able to help you out. But that is all Loves. That is all Loves, not Decker specific, that is everybody. So if you go to Loves for fuel, know that that is going to happen. Now, that being said, you can still swipe your card at the pump just like normal. So you can, you won't have all those extra points and stuff, but you can still swipe the, the card. So you have that option. If you have questions, reach out to Janelle in the field department. She'll be able to, to answer them. But that's basically it. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, pretty much that's it. Um, it will, if you're swiping your card, it will obviously eliminate you having to go inside to, you know, to, to start the pump or whatever, but you won't receive any of the points or the perks that you get from using the app. So those are the two things that you're weighing. Are you going in so that you can utilize your, your app points, those perks, or are you trying to, you know, do you just want to get going and fuel at the pump, swipe the card just like you have before? Totally up to you. But, but, loves nationwide is cutting off that code. They're, they're not doing that anymore. So, okay. All right. So who reminded me of communications? I appreciate that. <laughs> Katie's probably shaking her head thinking, I told you you're supposed to say that. You're supposed to share it. Just kidding. <laughs> Putting words in your mouth. All right. So yeah, those are the basic positions that we have available. Our benefits, like I said before, they all start after 60 days. It's an 80-20 plan. It is a 50% match on the 401k, so take advantage of that if you're interested in, in building that up. Uh, the benefits, Blue Cross Blue Shield, great. We also have dental and vision. And then we also have prescription benefits. We've had prescription benefits for obviously quite some time, but we have recently had some adjustments, I'm gonna say. Okay, so now we have $0 generic. So as of this year, we have a $0 generic plan, which obviously is fantastic for some of you who are on the on a prescription that is generic. It just, it saves you a lot. It just pumps up that insurance for you, pumps up, pumps up the value of that insurance for you, not the cost, but the value, which is, which is key, right? And now there is a program out there for brand name or specialty drugs as well for being $0 co-pays. So if you want more details on that, reach out to a recruiter. They'll be able to send you some information on it. 877-433-2537. And if any of these positions that we talked about today sound good to you, and it sounds like something that you'd be interested in exploring more on, then yes, check out the recruiting department. 877-433-2537. And they'll help you with that as well. Uh, just as a recap of the different positions that we have available, we have our over-the-road refrigerated, over-the-road flatbed. We have more regional refrigerated and more regional flatbed. And then we also have um, some local positions currently available. The, I get asked about these all the time. These are brand new positions. When they are open, they don't usually last long. I can tell you that. But it's a local. there's two local positions based out of Fort Dodge, Iowa, that will get you home daily running from Fort Dodge to Blair, Nebraska. You need to live within a 25 mile ra radius for that position. Again, Fort Dodge, Iowa to Blair, Nebraska. And then we also have the um, flatbed short haul position that'll get you through a couple of times a week. That one guarantees a minimum of $1,000 a week. And it is flatbed where the short, or excuse me, where the other local is hopper position. So the hopper position is from Fort Dodge to Blair, Nebraska and back. That one is slip seating. That is the only slip seating that I am aware of here at Decker. But other than that, we have the um, assigned truck with the, with the flatbed division. All right, cool. If you have any questions, 877-433-2537. 
Other than that, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Do your best to stay cool, and we hope to visit with you soon in the Roofing Department. 877-433-2537 or apply online at drivedecker.com.